it's very difficult to figure out what is coming from where you see uh, and then we are also having a lot of ambiguity ambiguity means ability to not read exactly what is happening it's not clear you don't understand it is unfamiliar territory it is uncharted territory and hence it becomes very difficult for a manager to take a decision should i call the employees to resume the work back or should they should i ask them to continue to work from home given that the pandemic is not yet over so this is the the reality of of a vuka world and in this vuka world this is a very beautiful uh, diagram that you will all be able to see in front of you this is called as this has been picked up from stephen covey's seven habits of highly effective people and friends i want you to observe the left hand side where i am moving the cursor and you can see there is a circle of concern which is the outer circle and the inner circle is the circle of control now i want you to observe this left hand diagram very carefully and tell me what do you notice uh the area of the outer circle is greater than the area of the inner circle or is it the other way around the left hand side please put your answers the area of the outer circle is larger or the area of the inner circle is larger on the left hand side please post your answers right so the area of the outer circle obviously is very large you see this is how reactive people live that area of the outer circle is called as circle of concern throughout the day we are surrounded by news items which are always showing a lot of happenings and a lot of depressive news there are some challenges in the economy there are issues in the weather there are natural disasters terrorist attack etc 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 and if we get carried away by this circle of concern we will never ever achieve what we want to achieve in our lives can we control these activities can we control these external activities can we ourselves individually fix the economy can we ourselves stop a uh, di uh, environmental disaster from happening can i just make a call and say we need to stop the cyclone will it stop no right whatever is intended to happen will happen so then what do we do as individuals i want you to now put your attention on the inner circle this is called as the circle of control where you live where you work what you read what you buy these are activities which is within your control these are activities which is within your purview so what are you supposed to do you are supposed to expand the circle of control and now i want you to look at your right hand side what do you think has happened to the diagram what has happened to the diagram in the right hand side in your observations you can write your answers in the chat window box absolutely right omkar and uh, sham kumar shukla the inner circle has expanded this is the inner circle of control these are the things which you can control in your hands your attitude and enthusiasm you say i don't care if it is raining i have to attend a online lecture to be delivered by one of the nmims faculties and i am looking forward to that lecture i don't care if there is something happening in my neighborhood i have to study this book today i have to complete reading this chapter this is what i am going to do today what skills am i going to learn how do i upskill myself you know skilling is a very important technique if you want to improve your career what skills do you have what are the latest skills available in the business management domain how many books of professional interest have you read in the last 12 months how many current news affairs on the business side have you read in recent times right so these are the things which really matter so proactive people always expand the circle of control and when you expand the circle of control suddenly you will see that you are in a control of a lot of things in life you will feel like you are the pilot of your aircraft you will feel like you are the driver of your car and you will be in a position to move forward so now that we have understood why we need to arm ourselves with an mba because an mba program teaches us to expand our sphere of control the million dollar question is why nmims global 
So let me tell you, friends, uh, this is my ninth year running with NMIMS University as a visiting professor. And for those of you who don't know, NMIMS is a very old institution, you see. It was founded in 1980s in Mumbai, right? Then it was called as Bombay. And NMIMS University is one of the few reputed institutions recognized in India as well as overseas. Uh, we are one of the few institutions which has really survived for a very long period of time. And what is interesting about NMIMS universities, we have been conferred several awards, several awards of academic excellence have been conferred on NMIMS university. NMIMS alumni have really made the university very proud of the legacy that it stands for. Today, the students of NMIMS will be found in some of the leading leadership positions in some of the best organizations all over the world, you see. And what is very interesting about NMIMS Global, which is what all of you are seeking admission for, is NMIMS Global is the ed tech element of NMIMS University. And NMIMS Global is combining the best academic disciplines of NMIMS University and it is marrying it with technology. Technology is the online delivery platform. Friends, I must share a very interesting story with you. Eight years ago when I started, and I, I take both face-to-face -face lectures as well as online lectures. When I started my career in the online teaching segment eight, nine years ago, some of the people in the industry laughed at me. And they said, Professor, what are you doing? What is this online? Who has heard about online? You know, everything is face to face. Everything has to happen across the table. And then the COVID pandemic happened two years ago. And when the world moved into an online mode, NMIMS faculties were the most comfortable faculty members in online mode because we already knew how to teach online, you see. But there were other faculty members who had no experience how to teach online and a lot of them struggled in being able to convey their message across to the students. So NMIMS is way ahead of its peers by understanding and highlighting the importance of technology very early on where not many people were aware about the online edtech platform, education technology platform. And it pioneered and brought the best of both the worlds, academic excellence and technology excellence. And it married and combined both of these elements to deliver a seamless platform for you. Just try to visualize the beauty of this program. Just imagine the kind of flexibility that this program is going to give you. Number one, you are a working professional. Suddenly your boss calls for a meeting at 7.30 in the night. You have a lecture from 7 to 9.30. It's a weekday. You want to attend a lecture, but you can't go against your boss. No problem. You can view the recorded sessions of the program of the lecture after you reach home at nine o'clock. On a Saturday and Sunday, your family members say that enough of you working. We want you to give some personal time with us. No problem. You can join your parents and your relatives and well-wishers for your personal uh, element. And you can come back in the night and you can do your own personal self-study through the video recorded platform. And those of you who are interested in listening to the live lectures of the professors, you have that option as well. So it, there is a lot of flexibility that is built into this program. And that is one of the key elements why this is now one of the most well-recognized programs uh, all over the country. And the fact that it is headquartered in Mumbai, as all of you will be familiar and are aware, Mumbai is the financial capital of the country. Majority of the corporate institutions have their headquarters in Mumbai. So for you to be getting exposure with faculty members such as myself and my fellow peers who are from the same industry is an added bonus, right? Because we all belong to the same financial capital from where we are all coming from. So these are some of the programs that we have. So I'm going to uh, take you through the programs very soon. So we are at the moment rated as one of India's top business schools. We have an excellent corporate connect. We have collaborated with corporates very well. 
uh, at the moment we have about 150,000 active students, 28,000 alumni. Not many people can boast of the kind of network that NMIMS has, to be very honest with you. And one of the biggest assets that NMIMS as an institution has is our faculty members. I can't speak on behalf of myself, but I can definitely speak on behalf of my fellow faculty peers who I know quite well and I've been interacting with them. These are the best in class faculty members you will ever come across. They are very, very dedicated people. They will bring the best practices to the classroom. They are uh, educated from some of the best educational institutions in the country, IIMs and IITs, including the fact that they also come from a corporate work experience background. I have 23 years of corporate work experience. I am a gold medalist in marketing myself. I have also done my executive MBA from IIM Calcutta. So you are getting the best of both the academic excellence as well as professional work experience. And we have about 80 faculty members who are PhDs. So I don't think you will get uh, an institution where this kind of an exposure is provided to you. What are some of the brands that our students work for? So you can see it is spanning sectors. We have students from Infosys, IBM. IBM was my previous employer also. International Business Machines, a Fortune 500 company. I used to work in their change and strategy function. I used to report directly to the India uh, to the strategy director, India operations, right? Uh, we have manufacturing, Mahindra, banking and finance, KPMG, Ernst & Young. These are well-known firms, telecom, Vodafone Idea, Airtel, e-commerce, the Amazons of the world. We even have people from the Indian Armed Forces. We have got so many students from the Indian Armed Forces. We have majors, we have captains, and it's an absolute pleasure to interact with them in the online mode. Uh, these are some of the student testimonials that all of you can see here. Uh, this is a guy who's working with a Japanese uh, firm called as Nomura. Jason, he says, NMIMS is a very reputed brand. It stands amongst the IITs and IIMs. Then we have a lady, Blossom, who was working at Harvard Business Publishing. She says, after working for about seven, eight years, I felt the need to upskill myself. I now have a better understanding of the market and the business function. This is the kind of value addition that this program is, is, is going to give you. And that's one of the biggest advantages. So what is this MBA distance? And what is the meaning of distance? What is the meaning of distance? So one of the most interesting elements of a distance program is you can, from the comfort of your residence, from the comfort of your office, take the lectures from a remote location. It doesn't matter which part of the world you are from. So let me just share something very interesting. I have got students from Japan. I have got students from Oman, from the Middle Eastern countries. I've got students from United States of America. I've got students from European countries. I have got vice presidents of companies listening to my lecture. I had one of my uh, students, he is a vice president for a multinational company based in Malta. Malta is a European country. And uh, he used to listen to my lectures very comfortably. The gentleman who was based in Japan, I used to have my lectures at seven o'clock in the evening. Now, all of you know that Japan is several hours ahead of India. So it would be a well past midnight. And yet he used to say that I would prefer attending your live sessions. So he used to attend at a very odd time. I said, you can go to the video recording. He says, no, prof, I would like to listen to a live session. So he used to uh, attend the live lectures in a very uh, uh, odd time in Tokyo, right? So that's the kind of profile of students. So you will also get a wonderful opportunity to network with your peers. And uh, one of the ancient strategies in ancient Indian philosophy, it is said that a human being can learn one fourth of whatever learnings he or she learns in his lifetime from their peer network, their friends. So this is an amazing opportunity for all of you to develop your and hone your corporate networking skills by developing your peer network. Our objective is to develop leaders in you. We want to see leaders in you. We want to see managers emerging from you. We want you guys to be ready to solve the problems, business problems of today and tomorrow. So 
What are the advantages? I told you, you can study anywhere, anytime, 24 by 7. There is a lot of academic rigor. Let me tell you, to those of you who may be thinking that it will be quite a cakewalk, you know, I just attend a lecture and then I'll get a certificate. It's not going to be that easy. It's as rigorous as a regular face-to-face -face MBA program. You will have assignments, you will have uh, term end exams, you will have... Uh, uh, discussions, there will be a whole host of activities which will be coming your way. So it's it's going to be a very, very rigorous uh, uh, academic uh, regime that we have prepared, extremely well curated for your uh, upscaling program. You will also be part of 27,000 plus alumni network. Uh, you can uh, interact with the faculty members, you can interact with your peers. Uh, there is something very interesting which I want to introduce today to you. We even have a tie-up with Coursera. Coursera, to those of you who don't know, is a learning access website platform which provides different types of uh, programs, online programs. Are you all uh, aware about uh, Coursera? If yes, can you just send a smiley in the chat window box? All of you are aware about Coursera? <coughs> Okay, out of 138, I've got three smileys. Okay, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So Coursera is a very popular. Now, one of the interesting things is NMIMS has got a student tie-up with Coursera under which you don't need to pay the expensive fees of Coursera. In addition to taking admission with NMIMS, you can top up some Coursera courses for yourself. And you know what the good news is? We have an NMIMS dedicated team, which has actually mapped all the specializations that you're going to be doing or involved in to the Coursera course. And you just have to pay a nominal uh, fee extra, not as much as Coursera will charge you individually, but it's just a small amount. And you will get access to that specifically mapped subjects. Uh, and you will also have access to renowned publications, Pearson, McGraw, Hill, Wiley, these are all well-known publications. So uh, we have a two-year program. That is what we currently have as an MBA program. And this two-year program is divided into four semesters of six months each. And in every semester, approximately, you will have six uh, subjects, okay? Six subjects per semester. So approximately about 24 subjects is what each one of you is likely to go through in this two-year program. At the end of every semester, obviously, uh, you, you, you're going to have, uh, you will, you'll have examinations, you'll have assignments and a whole host of things. Uh, we have at NMIMS kept a very broad canvas. I want you to look at this slide very carefully. It's a wonderful business canvas that you can all see. Business management, banking and finance. HR, let me tell you, a lot of universities do not offer HR as a specialization. A lot of universities do not offer supply chain management as a specialization. A lot of universities do not offer retail management and information technology and systems as specialization. NMIMS is one of those few universities which has really given you a broad canvas to choose from, right? whether it is marketing, finance, operations, IT, HR, be it what it may be. So in semester one uh, and semester two, these are common semesters for all of you. You're going to have common subjects, which is introduction to business management. The six subjects that I talk to you every semester that you will have, every subject will have a weightage of 100 marks. Okay. And in semester three is the time when you will choose a specialization. You will have a specialization subject. Some of you may have an inclination for marketing. Some of you may say, look, Amazon is really growing big. I want to do something in supply chain. Some of you may say that, look, finance space is looking very attractive. I want to do so. You, you have your specialization subject starting from semester three and four. And in semester four, you also have a special project which you're supposed to do, right? And all the guidelines or in terms of how it is to be done and all that is, is will be given to you. Now, I want you to look at the title of this. This is a very interesting title. It says, Program Structure Created for a Work-Life Balance. Why work-life balance and how? Friends, NMIMS is a very considerate university. NMIMS understands that some of you are working professionals. NMIMS understands that some of you are married as well. So you have your personal space, 
and you have your professional space already. To that, you are going to add some more bandwidth to add your educational space, isn't it? So that's really going to make things very hectic for you. So what we have done is we have given you flexible learning options. In addition to the fact that you can take video recorded lectures or online lectures and all that flexibility that I took you through earlier, we also have an option where you can actually do this program on a staggered basis. What is the meaning of staggered basis? You think you will not be able to do this program in two years. You think that you want to take a pause in between. You can do that. Uh, you, the validity of the program to do this program is four years. So, which means that if you take admission into our program in 2022, for example, you will have validity up to 2026. Before 2026, you should have completed your graduation with us. Now, what are the nitty gritties of those details? Your student counselors and the NMIMS coordination team will be more than happy to help you in terms of how it works. I'm just giving you the broad modalities that these kind of flexibilities are available with us, right? Uh, so uh, another wonderful thing which I told you earlier is uh, in addition to the academic excellence, I talked to you about professors, I talked to you about academic uh, details. Uh, in addition to that, we also have uh, a website and we have an app. You know, we are living in the world of applications, isn't it? So I'm very happy to say that we have access to a mobile app and uh, all the details will be shared with you in due course if you take admission with us. And you're supposed to download this app. This app is available on all the mobile platforms. And this app has got a zone called a student zone where an exclusive login and password will be given. This login and password will give you access to your lecture materials. What lecture materials? The PPT slides that the professors will be taking you through. The e-books, electronic books of that particular subject, they will be available in that particular thing. The video recordings of that particular professor will also be available. So you have a whole and you also have access to a digital library. Plus, we will be sending notifications to you about, you know, when is the next assignment due? When are you supposed to submit? How are you supposed to submit? You have a student support, which is a very active student support, which will uh, help you with meeting what your uh, requirements are, what your queries are on a real time basis. So we have a desktop and a mobile app. So those of you who are not comfortable with mobile app, you can even log in through your desktops or laptops and you can access this student zone. Uh, obviously, live lectures are there. There's a high level of interactivity. I think some of you got a sneak preview of it when we started talking to each other through the chat window. But I think one of the interesting highlights here is the digital library. You know, NMIMS as a university is known for having one of the best access to the knowledge base, which is what I, how I refer. And uh, I, I spend a lot of time in the library, okay, in NMIMS, whenever I get the time. Uh, because it has access to a whole lot of ebooks, electronic books, digital books. And I'm very happy to say that post your confirmation as a student, through the student zone, you will get access to some of these additional knowledge uh, materials. Uh, yeah, so that's another advantage. You'll also be getting textbooks, uh, learning material. Uh, so all these will also be shared with you in due course. Uh, your online academic calendar, we have a calendar which will, so you don't have to ask anybody, the calendar will tell you when is your lecture scheduled, what time to what time, which subject, what is the session number, what's the name of the faculty, everything is provided there. Obviously, we have a database of recorded lectures, which I've already talked to you about. Something very interesting here is, which has been introduced by NMIMS is called as a discussion forum. This is a forum where sometimes the faculty other than the lecture hours takes some time out and he or she will post some very interesting topic uh, for you guys to discuss in an online chat forum or an online discussion forum. It's a very interesting uh, module and we have seen excellent peer-to-peer -peer networking skills during the enactment of these discussion forums. So you, you will have access to those discussion forums as well. So interactive live lectures, uh, interact with students and fellow faculty members. You will be able to see who your fellow faculty, uh, fellow student members are there, just like the way 
you are seeing your chat window box. What is the pedagogy that we use in order to teach you? So one of the best ways to learn a subject in addition to concepts is case studies. And NMIMS believes very strongly in the case study concepts. We have tie-ups with some of the best institutions in the world. We have tie-ups with Harvard Business School, Harvard Business Publishing, a whole host of other ambits. And uh, we share these case studies. Sometimes you may get these case studies as pre-read material. You know, one of the things that they do in IIMs, and I also teach in some of the IIMs, so uh, as a professor in some of the IIMs, what I do is I upload a pre-read material three, four days in advance. This philosophy is called as a flipped classroom. And the expectation is everybody would have come thoroughly read. And then the discussion around that case study starts and it's a very interesting and enriching uh, discussion. Every concept that will be taught to you will be laced with industry related examples and that, those examples are not necessarily textbook based, but those are coming directly from the faculty's own experience uh, in the industry. So you're really getting exposure to a lot of uh, industry best practices from the best minds. Uh, friends, this is a photograph of our university. Uh, this is the uh, this is the uh, uh, the the entry level uh, to to our this is the lobby if I were to use it to our uh, beautiful campus which is located at uh, Ville Parley in uh, Mumbai, and I'm gonna now talk to you about the packages Prime and Pro. What is Pro? Pro stands for professional. So obviously we have different types of programs. I had already taken you through those boxes. HR, finance, banking, marketing, I've already taken you through all of these. But let's very quickly come to the prime and pro packages concept. What is a prime? There is a student who is very keen to pursue a program with us. But because of some budgetary constraints, the student is not in a position to uh, put in more money uh, as an investment. See, I personally believe that the best form of investment anybody can do is not in stock markets. The best form of investment that anybody can do in their lives is in education. Education is eternal. Education is evergreen. Education is never ending. Education gives you an ROI which cannot be measured. Our teachers who taught us mathematics our teachers who taught us English and Marathi and Hindi, these subjects in our childhood, when we were barely able to speak. Today, we are very young and confident men and women. But the way we calculate, the way we speak, the way we articulate our expressions, we have to thank our parents and teachers for it, you see. That is an intangible benefit which is remaining with us for the rest of our lives, friends. Similarly, Whatever management concepts, a lot of people are under the impression, okay, I now did an MBA, now what next? Okay, I should get promoted as a manager. It doesn't happen that way. Everything takes time. Everything has a while. For some, it will happen very quickly. For some, it will take a while, but it will eventually happen. And it is that belief in yourself, the belief in how you apply what you learned in NMIMS University in the corporate world, which is going to distinguish you from the rest of the pack. So prime is for those students who think that budget is a constraint and NMIMS is a very considerate university. We have created a database of recorded lectures. So here the student will have access to only recorded lectures. The student will not have access to a live uh, lecture platform. But there is a pro package, which is a, a package, an upgraded package, where a student will have access to both recorded as well as live lecture. So the beauty here is let's assume that you went through my lecture in a live program for two and a half hours. And let's assume just on a uh, lighter note, your kid is playing nearby you. So you're playing with your kid also and you're also simultaneously listening to the lecture. So you somehow feel that you have not given 100% concentration, your concentration level was 80%. No problem. After the live lecture gets over, once the recorded lecture gets uploaded, access the recorded lecture and go through only those specific sections where you feel that you want to revise once again. That's the beauty. And you know, I, I envy your generation because when I was of your age, we never had the privilege of listening to the golden words of our wonderful faculty members second or third time. We got to listen to them only once. 
right? And we had to make the most out of it. You guys are really a lucky generation because you guys can listen to the faculty member, your favorite faculty members' uh, elements again and again and again. So obviously there are separate price packages. You can get in touch with the concerned people and they will give you more updates about it. I've already, so very quickly, what is the eligibility criteria? Obviously you should have a bachelor's degree in 10 plus two plus three discipline. You must have a minimum of 50% marks at the graduation level that is mandated by the NMIMS university. Uh, so that is the Association of Indian Universities, AIU. That's one way of looking at it. Uh, another way of looking at it is uh, if you are a working professional and if you have a minimum of two years of work experience with 50% graduation, uh, you will also be eligible for this particular program. I have already told you why the validity is four years, because even though the duration of the course is two years, I've told you, you get flexibility in extending the course if you wish to, you can take a pause. Uh, these are some of the price packs of the program. So I, uh, as, as a professor, I uh, would not wade too much into the, uh, into the budget elements of it, but this slide is always available for your reference. Feel free to take a photograph of it if you wish, and then you can always uh, get in touch with your coordinators or the NMIMS team for further clarifications on what are these various packages and how does it go and how do these modules work? Okay. Um, uh, one thing which I want to add here is you can see that I have added a middle column here, which is called as prime plus. So what is the difference? I have already explained to you what is prime and I've already explained what is pro. Prime is only recorded lectures. Pro is uh, live lectures and recorded. So what is prime plus? In prime plus, which is a middle option that we have created, in addition to the recorded lectures, students can access up to four subjects, four subjects per semester in live format. So I had already told you per semester, you're going to have six subjects. So up to four lectures in a prime plus package, you will be able to access it. Okay. And let us say that there are certain specializations where you may not have six subjects. You may have only five subjects. If that is the case, then in addition to four lectures, which you will be getting under Prime Plus, the fifth lecture, you will get it as free, right? Under the Prime Plus package, only for those specializations where you only have five subjects per semester. So industry-wide student breakup, we have, uh, you can see we are very well balanced, but I think information technology is one industry which really likes this mode because I think Part of it is because they are very technology savvy. They are already used to uh, technology tools. They understand the power of online learning. Uh, they understand the power of online internet streaming. And hence these guys are uh, very, uh, very familiar with it. And hence they, they see value in it. Uh, but we have people from the other, in, other uh, sectors as well, manufacturing, telecom, finance, pharmaceuticals, infrastructure, what have you. So as I promised to you earlier, I told you that in 40, 45 minutes, I will end today's session. It is a 42nd minute now. And uh, I end my today's session with this photograph of the beautiful campus that you are able to see here at the uh, Mumbai location. Now I will be happy to answer any questions. Antara Das, please elaborate about the placement policies. So Antara, what happens is... Uh, I think we have a separate uh, team which takes care of uh, queries on the placement processes. But I will tell you one thing, Antara, uh, whichever student I have interacted with in NMIMS, uh, these students at the end of their third or fourth semester, Antara, as they're coming towards the end of the fourth semester, uh, students become so confident, students become, there is a transformation in their personality. They they understand what is happening around them. Uh, they have upskilled themselves. They actually themselves do a lot of career progressions. And we have enough evidence of seeing that uh, we have that. But you can also see that there is a web, web link which is given, which is uh, in, in the chat window, online.nmims.edu.careerservices. 
Dear sir, is the certificate from distance MBA mode same value as that of regular classroom with respect to employment? Now, that's a very good question. I would say it lies in the eyes of the beholder, Soumya Ranjan. Uh, you see, every organization which is looking for new recruitments has different different policies towards recruitment, you see. So it's very difficult for us to say that this is the thumb rule and this is the rule of the corporate law. Uh, it may vary from organization to organization. Uh, my personal suggestion is uh, if you can go in for a full full time program, nothing like it. But if you think that budget or time is a constraint, you can always explore other options. So, Mayor Ranjan. Uh, Vivek says, can you please let me know the highest placement of distance learning MBA as well as so the sky is the limit, Vivek. Sky is the limit. I have got students who have actually given up their plush careers and they have started their own consulting firm as well. So uh, sky is the limit, actually, right? Uh, it's very difficult to quantify numbers here, uh, Vivek. Uh, very good question, Omkar. Examination, uh, 100 marks is a combination of multiple things. There are subjective elements and there are objective also. So for example, you will have your internal assignment, which is generally for 30 marks, Omkar. Then you have uh, descriptive questions, which is 20 marks. So that is 30 and 20, 50. And then you've got 50 marks for multiple choice questions, right? So you have a combination of subjective and objective and your assignments, Omkar. Will MBA distance degree students get jobs? Are you asking from the university? If that is the question, then I would say that you will have to visit our career services details. They will be in a better position to guide you, Ali Adil. Uh, in a recorded uh, session, suppose I miss a lecture when there is an assignment given, how will I, we will have notifications, Girish Naya, don't worry. You'll get a notification saying that, uh, uh, you know, as per the, this thing, this is the deadline and this is the assignment D, right? And then immediately you can follow it up Girish Naya with a recorded lecture, you can go through it. I've taken admission, so any assistance on SAP, how you can use. I think Vipan, the, the team will give you guideline. Uh, there will be a user guideline, uh, Vipan, very soon, which will help you to understand how to do this. Is it possible? Hello, Srinivas, sir. I'm a very big fan. I used to see when I was a, in graduation. Thank you so much, Saurabh Bhattacharya. Glad to know that you have been my student uh, during your undergrad days also. Very uh, happy to hear that. And very nice to see your name in the class. Uh, my best wishes to you, Saurabh. Uh, how is this program helpful for an undergraduate? That's a very good question, Rutuja. Uh, if you are an undergraduate, uh, Rutuja, who has already undergone a BBA program in undergraduate studies, my only, uh, uh, my only perspective is that this program will help you to broaden and widen your perspective because you are now moving away from pure play academic uh, elements, Rutuja, into a professional world where the course will be taught to you by professionals from the industry. So your perspective gets broadened and that's the way I look at it, Rutuja. Uh, I have already done MBA in marketing. I don't think that should be a constraint, Vivek, if you want to do MBA in finance. But whatever are the administrative nitty gritties, uh, feel free to uh, watch it. You can watch the recorded lectures as many times as you want, Sahil uh, You know, it's like watching a recorded movie, you know, and that's why I say I envy your generation. Right? But the professors who taught me, unfortunately, are no more alive. But I remember every word of theirs in my brain. I remember what they said in which lecture. Everything is there in my brain. But you are a very uh, lucky generation, Sahil Ingle. Uh, Bhumi, Bhumi Kaba, uh, explain what is track in online sessions and if, yeah, it's a good question, Bhumi Kaba. So I will say that there are two, uh, two or three different tracks, Bhumi Kaba. One is called as a weekday track and one is called as a weekend track. Obviously, as you'll understand, weekday track will happen between Monday and Friday, Bhumi Kaba. Weekend track will happen on Saturdays and Sundays. It is generally aimed at working professional people and uh, we also have what is called a slow track and fast track. 
do not worry too much about it it is more to do with the admissions you know some people take admissions quickly some people take admissions later on so these nomenclatures are meant only for admission purposes but yes what you need to know is we will have a choice between weekday track and weekend track so that's what you need to know saurabh bhattacharya my elder brother was your student now i am a deloitte professional awesome what's your elder brother's name saurabh i didn't know that uh dear sir as the mba is of distance mode will i need to go to the nmms center to appear for term end question it's a very good question somer ranjan i don't think i'll be in a position to answer this but i'm sure uh, my colleague here uh, she will answer this uh, question uh, i think there is a need to go to the center but because of covid uh, situation i am sure nmms has alternatives available Uh, and i think they will give you more clarity uh, as the exams near aruno joy apologies to join lately but the way you explained very helpful thank you yes i do take lectures regularly aruno joy i am a visiting faculty with nmms and i do take lectures i in fact even visit the campus regularly i also take face to face for other programs uh Uh, Bhumi Kaba, uh, you have already got a message saying, please write to us at ngasce at nmims dot edu. So uh, that's the email address. What I will do is I will just post this email address once again in my chat window box, so that everybody is able to see it. I have posted it on the chat box so that uh, you can see uh, what it is. Uh, distance and full time uh, shweta as the name itself helps you understand distance is you are doing it from a remote location if you want to do a full time mba as a regular mba uh, you may have to attend face to face sessions but that's a completely different genre here we are talking only about uh, online lectures shweta chauhan uh, sir i want to do mba and government job who should uh, and i'm not too sure about your question kala koti jivita but i'm assuming that uh, you want to do mba and then you want to do a government job if that is the question uh, again as i said if the government job entails this kind of a qualification you have complete liberty to go ahead and take up that job bhumika bhai have already taken admission wonderful congratulations bhumika ba vivek rawal congratulations um so uh, don't worry vivek rawal uh, i think uh, there will be a lot of videos already available but uh, you have to decide what is your area of specialization what interests you which subject interests you and even out of just out of curiosity vivek there is no harm in uh, seeing a, a particular lecture of a topic which you think you are interested in okay uh, arti jaiswal i saw that there are many sessions on the same topic so i am a little bit confused uh yeah don't worry arti uh, as i told you uh, uh you will be uh, notified on the student portal uh, regularly so you can always uh, and you can also write to ngasc@nmims.edu the team is very helpful they will guide you accordingly sanjay bhattacharya he is senior manager in glenmark uh, pharma got an upper hand for promotion after doing mba from nmims so guys in your classroom itself you have one of your peer students here uh, his name is saurabh bhattacharya and he is writing in the chat window box and i will read it his elder brother was my student sanjay bhattacharya and after his mba he is got promoted as a senior manager in glenmark pharma congratulations to your brother please convey my best regards uh, to your brother and i wish him all success to him as well as to you uh, saurabh Aishwarya, good evening. Nice to see you. After this distance MBA completion, can I get job opportunities in foreign? For see, the world is your oyster, Aishwarya. We never know in life what life has kept for us, Aishwarya. What turns we are gonna get in life? It's 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 a very interesting uh, proposition. Of course, there are certain things that we have to do proactively, uh, things which are in our control, right? but uh, anything is possible aishwarya anything is possible i took admission on 3rd july and there is a 
uh, a user guidance already five day passed. Nobody from NMIMS has contacted me. Okay, Vipan, thanks for bringing it up to uh, my attention. Uh, I have my coordinator here. I'll have a word with her, Vipan, and I will ask her to resolve your query. Okay, I know the coordinator here. I will ask her to resolve your query. Um, thank you. Congratulations, Shweta Chauhan. Divyesh Kumar, how NMIMS helps in placement after MBA and operations management? So we have a, a career services cell, uh, Divyesh Kumar. Uh, I would urge you to go through the website uh, uh, on the career services. Okay. Uh, Momita Pal, how will I know? I'm, and by the way, I just want to stop the screen share here for a brief moment. And I want to show you something interesting here. So just give me one moment. So I'm going to... If uh, time permits, I'm going to take you to the distance education website uh, just for your uh, benefit. Guys, can you see the distance education website? Can you confirm to me if you are all able to see this? Don't worry, Aruna Joy, it will be communicated to you. Uh, I hope so, Sahil, my best wishes for you. Uh, Vipan, you have already got a, a message saying that Vipan, please write to us at ngasce at nmims.edu. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, just take you through this website here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click under faculty, okay? And uh, you can see these are some of the faculties. All of them are very close colleagues of mine. And uh, you can also see the profiles of your faculty members, okay? So when you click here under no more, so let me just click one uh, random one here. So you can see this is Dr. Avina Jangiani, And Dr. Jangiani has done his MBA from Geneva, Switzerland. And he's an innovation specialist. And he has been honored as an exemplary mentor of change by Niti Aayog's Atal Innovation Mission, right? And he has written a book which has been endorsed by the Supreme Court of India, right? So we have some very, very, uh, and these are some of the topics that he takes, retail and MBA WX. Uh, this is Professor Krishnan. I'll just take you through his profile. Uh, he is having 40 years of experience, you see. I have only 23 years. He's very senior than me, right? And he's a board of study. He's connected to a board of studies of several business schools, right? And he was uh, with uh, ANZ, Greenlays Bank, which is called Standard Chartered. So uh, obviously uh, he, so that, that's essentially what your subjects taught, right? So uh, we have some very, very senior people uh, here uh, teaching us. Uh, and uh, you you will get the best of uh, all the. I want to take you through one of my very close friends here. Um, yeah, this is Nikhil Prabhakar. He's a very close friend of mine. He's done his MBA from IIM Ahmedabad, and uh, he's just recently shifted to another city. And uh, he's a very close friend of mine. He's an expert in digital marketing. You see, so uh, these are the kind of people who uh, will be will be taking you. Uh, and I, I know most of these people, uh, what you see they here, I know most of them. So uh, you can always do your own research, go through this, and you know, the best way to understand a program is to go through the faculty profile. Faculty profiles will help you understand who these people are, what their backgrounds are, where do they come from, and uh, how long have they been. So this guy is another very close friend of mine, Rohit Kumar Gautam. And... Uh, he is uh, an IIT Bombay, I am Ahmedabad uh, alumnus. So you have the best brains uh, teaching you. I, I don't think you need to go anywhere else uh, for this. Uh, that's me. <laughs> Coincidentally, I'm wearing a, a blue colored uh, this thing as well, right? So that's me here. And uh, so you can see my profile as well. So these are uh, so I've been teaching for 20 years, as I told you, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So these are some of the programs that I teach. You can see I'm there in most of the programs associated. All right. So I think, friends, it's 628. Uh, and I hope uh, 
all of you enjoyed uh, this uh, short uh, briefing session from me i hope uh, you saw value in it and uh, uh, i would like to extend my best wishes to each one of you uh, remember one thing and i will repeat what i said uh, you alone can forge the destiny of your life right and uh, always remember that uh, always have a positive attitude uh, towards what comes your way uh, and if you develop a positive attitude towards life the world will be your oyster uh, and i'm very confident that you will all do very well you will make us proud you know a professor never seeks any roi from the students you know what professor seek from the students professor seek happiness quotient when a student informs us professor i got promoted i am not going to ask for a commission i am not going to ask for a gold medal i will just feel happy i will have a very good sleep that day night that one of my students with my effort has been able to uh, shine through his or her own efforts right so it's a, it's a kind of a very selfless uh, service that uh, is rendered by some of these very senior people from the industry all right so with this few words it's 6:30 pm and it's time for me i have to get into another online lecture now so i hope all of you enjoyed this uh, briefing session my best wishes to each one of you wish you all success and have a great uh, start with nmims good day bye for now